you, Tantalus, cannot catch the drop. Ah, you're here. You're not like any Roman man I've ever seen. What was that? Some kind of joke? If it was, it wasn't funny. <sighs> I take back what I said. Suddenly, I don't find you so in... Let's just forget that ever happened, so we can at least do business. So, what brings you... All right. You stay away from my money! Many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Salve, friend. Mind telling me who you are and what you're doing? Oh! Vote for Maliolus, for a few stay away from my money. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Right. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, 
Here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina and murdered a local magistrate, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said that the voice of a furious god rang out, and the ground trembled and statues sprang to life, firing arrows at the city's inhabitants. Apparently, as the citizens screamed and died in pain, the stranger just vanished in a flash of light. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. I'm not sure I understand. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. I... Uh, I'm not following. So you're saying, because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. I guess. So what you're really saying is, you brought me back from the dead to let me die all over again. You saw the tablet. I spent a lifetime searching for a way out and never found one. I can't see how I could possibly we find one now, so it seems like we're both gonna die here. A mistake? You murdered a man in cold blood, and now there's a city full of dead people. It's only a matter of time before we join them. I guess all those old Latin inscriptions were right. Pro peccata unius multis dolabunt. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Thank you. Thank you. I am delighted and deeply honored to have been elected to <laughs> Oh, 
not supposed to be in here. Talk. What business could you possibly have with me? I think a better question is, why am I being interrogated by a stranger who just barged into my villa? I have quite enough marriage trouble already, without having to explain to my husband why I am receiving strange men in private. The dainty little thing from next door? Of course not. As much as I despise her father, I would never lay a finger on that poor sweet child. Well, I've had quite enough of this. Dimitis, come quickly. We're being robbed. Demetrius doesn't usually let anyone in here without a hefty tribute, so you must have been desperate to see me. I trust you can see yourself out. bakery instead. Please be careful. Stop right there. I am looking for Tiberius Quinctius Crispus, otherwise known as Quinctius. Do you know where he is? service to the Empire, I'll let you live for now, but you'd best make sure our paths don't cross again.
Salve, friend. All right, then. Fear is proof of a degenerate mind. Hey! You're not thinking about going into the cistern, are you? Nobody's told you about Hannibal. Ugh. Why do I have to do everything around here? So, there was this guy called Hannibal, right? Funny accent. You should go down into the cisterns looking for junk he could clean up and sell. One day, a few weeks back, he comes out and tells me the cisterns are haunted. Said he could hear spirits wailing. Of course, nobody believed him, because who trusts a Carthaginian, right? Anyway, a few days later, he goes back in. And hours go by, and he hasn't come back out, yeah? So I go down after him, and it's dark. But in the distance, I can just make out his body, sprawled out on the ground. And hunched over him was something that made my blood run cold. No word of a lie. I saw... A creature. Like the corpse of a man who'd been flayed. And it was eating Hannibal. What well, any sane person would have done. I legged it out of there and put a sign at the door to warn the others. Well, it's your funeral.
you. But do you know you're here? You have to help me escape before that monster comes back. I'm Centilla. I found a way out through the Gate of Horn, but it's locked. So I told him about it, and instead of helping me escape, he locked me up. He wants to keep us all here forever, or until we're turned to gold. He's a monster. You have to go so we can kill him and take his key. Sentius, my adoptive father. Furies help me. I'll castrate and crucify him. I don't know. He said the gods are on his side because they don't want us to escape either. Behind me, there's an aqueduct tunnel bringing water from outside the city, so it should lead us outside. The only problem is it's barred by a heavy locked gate, and he has the only key. I'm going to take that key from around his neck, even if it means cutting his throat to get it. I'm done caring about the golden rule. I just want out. Help me, and we can escape together. There won't be enough time. Just you and me. What do you say? There's no time. Wait, did you hear that? He's here. Quick, you have to let me go. It's now or never. Oh, thank you. Now follow... Wait, did you hear that? He's here. He must be coming in through the door behind me. You distract him. Stay right here and keep him talking while I look for something I can use. What did you do with Centilla? Where is she? So that is how it's going to be. Oh well, this doesn't change anything for me. It's a shame, really. If you'd just done what you were supposed to, you'd have been looping through time forever until you gave up and killed yourself. Just like that soft-hearted player. Ow. Come now. Surely you didn't think you were the only one here who remembered everything. You see, my connection to the portal somehow preserves my memories from one door. Whether that was Proserpina's intention or a happy accident, I'll never know. But I'm surprised you hadn't noticed. Here I was, thinking you were a little bit sharper than Al was. Or perhaps you're just more willing to break the rules. He was a moralistic fellow, never once compromised on his principles. And because of that fatal flaw, he relived this day many thousands of times before we finally had this conversation. I watched him come through the portal each time, always a little older, a little more disheveled, a little more haunted. And when he finally saw the futility of it all, as you're about to, it broke him. He drank a jug of wine, tied a noose around his neck, and took his own life just before he was shot with a golden arrow. The next time I awoke, you showed up. But you, you've caught up to where he was so quickly. I'd have preferred if you'd given me more time to enjoy the trappings of my success. How many extra days did you give me? Just the nine? Not a lot compared with Al, but I've seized every day, nonetheless. In any case, there's no escape for you except the path that Al took, the path he wrote about on his tablet. What was it? Ah, yes. Better to end it all now than find out what awaits you beyond that portal. 
So, you discovered my secret. So what? What are you going to do about it? Of course. There's no way you could have succeeded. Every soul who has ever found themselves here has broken the golden rule eventually. It is inevitable. Man will always sin sooner or later. Any idiot could tell you this. But where others might see tragedy, I saw opportunity. As I told you the first time we met, I found a way to cheat death. By reliving the same day over and over again forever. And I will continue living long after your dust. Why? Isn't it obvious? Because I have grown attached to all this. My title, my beautiful villa, the sun on my face, the music of birds chirping. As long as this day keeps repeating itself, I get to enjoy it all, over and over again, for eternity. Don't you see? I have found a way to prolong my life indefinitely, to cheat death. I have become, in effect, as immortal as the gods. Can you honestly say you would not wish the same for yourself? Do you really think you can take on a decurion with that flimsy little bird? Who? Centilla? Where is she? I'm right here, father. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. Come on, we have to go. Hey, what's happening to you? That light, it, it's so bright. Thought I was in here alone. I'm Al. Well, here I am. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Really? That's strange. I was just reading an old tablet I found here. Well, trying. My Latin is kind of rusty, but the last entry mentioned someone with the same name. It described an event about 2,000 years ago. Someone with your name appeared in the city out of the shrine of Proserpina. Freed an imprisoned woman named Centilla, who then murdered her captor, breaking some kind of ancient law. It said the attack caused golden statues to come alive, hunting down everyone in the city and turning them into gold. Apparently, the only person to survive was Centilla, while the stranger disappeared in a flash of light. Uh, what? You're saying you were here 2,000 years ago. I sure I understand. Uh, I'm sorry, come again? Um, let me see that. God, why does this writing look so familiar? I've spent a lifetime in this place going around and around in circles. This is... Uh, this is disturbing. But I don't understand how I could have written it. I, uh, I'm not following. So you're saying... Because a man from 2,000 years ago is dead, he never created a time portal, so I never went through it, and that's why I don't remember any of this. I guess you saved my life then, as well as helping that poor woman to escape. That's a lot to take in. Maybe we can escape through the same aqueduct Santilla used, if we can find it.
I'm gonna pause here for a moment and make sure nobody else is ever loading this tunnel. You go on ahead. I'll be there soon. beginning to think you'd both become trapped in there. Why don't you tell me what you discovered? While we wait. Really? Sounds amazing. And did you... Oh, look! Here he comes! Ow! It's so good to see you. You were gone so long I thought I'd never see you again. Kinda lost track of time in there. You wouldn't believe what we found. The ruins of a long-forgotten city. And there was a tablet describing an event 2,000 years ago. Supposedly, the city was destroyed when a woman murdered a tyrant with the help of, well, my new friend here. I know how crazy that sounds. Maybe not that crazy. That woman. I don't suppose her name was... Centilla? How could you... what? She left a tablet of her own. I stumbled across it while I was waiting here. I think she meant for you to read it. Here, take a look. I don't know what became of you, or if you'll ever read this, but I want you to know that I will never forget you, or what you did for me. It pains me that so many dear friends were not so fortunate. Olpius, Sentia, Lucretia, Horatius, Galerius, poor Dooley, and the others. Sounds like you meant a lot to her. I'd love to hear your story, but first, you two look exhausted. Why don't you hop in my boat and rest while I... ferry you back to civilization? Sounds good to me. And you? Are you ready to go home? 